imagine you or someone you love is on death row for a crime he or she did not commit. Many people think that this only happens in third world countries, but no, it happens here in the United States. I'm excited to talk to you about this topic because I've always been very interested in law and criminal justice. Because I've sent down and eventually like to be an FBI agent. The four major reasons why the death penalty should be abolished in the United <coughs> States is the high cost, international abuse, wrongful executions, and overall absence of deterrence. The first major reason the death penalty should be abolished in the United States is the high cost. It is far more expensive to execute a person than to keep him or her in prison for life. In 2008, Death Penalty Focus reported that the additional cost of confining an inmate to death row is $90,000 per inmate annually, compared to an inmate serving a sentence of life without the possibility of parole in a maximum security prison. Capital punishment is much more expensive than life without the possibility of parole because the Constitution requires a long and drawn out judicial process. This was originally started to keep the innocent out of jail, but it has since failed. If the death penalty were to be replaced with a sense of life without the possibility of parole, costs would be significantly less. Now that we have covered the high costs, we need to talk about the international abuse. To do this, we are going to watch a short video from Amnesty International, which is a nonprofit organization that supports human rights. Thank <laughs> you. 
prosecutors, judges, and police occasionally make general errors. The American Bar Association is currently in the process of solving all this. Now that we have talked about wrongful convictions, we need to talk about why the death penalty does not deter crime. Scientific studies have consistently proven that the death penalty does not deter crime any more than long-term prison sentences. In June of 2013, the article of death penalty found that the states that no longer use the death penalty are actually seeing less crime than those who are. In 2012, Dieter published in the Death Penalty Information Center that the murder rate in the United States has actually decreased since the death penalty has been used less. Therefore, capital punishment fails to deter crime in any way. To conclude, we have discussed the four major reasons why the death penalty should be abolished throughout all the U.S. states, which are the high cost, international views, wrongful convictions, and lack of deterrence. I hope to, that you are now more educated on why the capital punishment should no longer be used, because you never know, it could be one of us on death row.